if you have a complex task like writing a patent, um, giving this type of simple six uh, word prompt really doesn't do the trick for, uh, as you can see here. I mean, there's, it's a nice blob of text, but hey, yeah. Can you use it for your work? Maybe you could, but it's still a lot of work to, to get this to a level where this would be a real patent application, right? So this is really uh, the more naive way how to tackle uh, a really a complex task like drafting uh, a patent. So what I like to do is um, to not consider this LLM world like, you know, an oracle where you give it the whole task and then you wait for the output and uh, hopefully it, it fits, but most time it doesn't. Mm. But um, I would like to treat in my work, I, I like to treat the AI chatbot more as like a young associate, you know, which you would give a lot of context information and very clear instructions and also Uh, I would break down the overall task of writing a patent into small pieces, right? And then give it to the chatbot one, one uh, piece, one step after the other, and then see what comes back, maybe fine tune the first part. If that is okay, then just move on to the next and so on. And so this would be more of an ongoing conversation between me and uh, the chatbot, right? Where I'm in charge um, and I'm, you know, instructing the chatbot with, you know, very specific uh, uh, partial tasks, so to say. So one way uh, you can uh, do, uh, you can start all this is by priming your AI chatbot, right? And I typically do that with uh, um, a priming, what I call a priming prompt, a first priming prompt like this. Um, so let's say, maybe take a step back. So every time I draft a new patent application, I open up a new um, chat. Let's use ChatGPT for now, right? So, and now the first thing is, uh, so I would use that chat for the whole drafting project, right? And there would be an ongoing conversation uh, unfolding itself in this uh, chat while I'm drafting the, the patent application together with AI. First prompt is this priming prompt in that I would say, Uh, I would really give context to, to the AI to uh, set the expectations right, right? I would say something like, you are an experienced patent attorney with special expertise in patents for computer-implemented inventions and a PhD-level researcher in AI and machine learning because of our running example now. Your task is to help me write a European patent application. Let's do this step by step. I will ask you questions and you will respond adhere closely to my guidelines and ensure you, your responses are in line with patent drafting best practices. So let's take this prompt and copy it uh, here into our AI um, as a um, priming prompt. Okay, you can see that there is no patent drafting going on now because uh, the AI has understood that it's here to assist and it now waits for my um, um, for my commands, so to say. and But at the same time, it also knows now that it has to take the role of a patent attorney with uh, software patent expertise and so on, right? So I've kind of primed the uh, AI for, for the upcoming tasks. Now I could now maybe upload the PDF and say, uh, give me an executive summary. Won't do that right now because in this example, now we have used Notebook LM already to understand um, the invention, right? And um, now the, the, the next task would be really to have it draft a claim. Mm, so maybe I would still um, put in the paper here and I would say something like now that I've primed it to be really to think like a patent uh, attorney I would say draft a broad patent claim on this idea um, and then I would probably um, copy something from our discussion with Notebook LM about uh, what it is really up to uh, now Since I've closed it, I've lost the, the chat we had. That's too bad. Um, 
but maybe let's say draft a broad pattern claim on this idea the exponential gating function and let's say how it picks up on that here so this is much shorter now it says a neural network architecture comprising a recurrent neural network cell having an input gate and or a forget gate okay wherein the input gate and or the forget gate is configured to apply an exponential activation function to a pre-gate activation value such that the gating signal controlling the update of a memory state is determined using an exponential function of the pre-gate activation value. Okay, I think it picked up on the idea pretty nicely. I also like this claim because it's much more to the point now, right? It doesn't have all that fluff we had in the beginning. What I think is a bit strange is that you have the exponential activation function and you have here an exponential function. So is that the same? Is that something else? And now, I mean, what you see is now, now we can have an ongoing conversation with the AI. Um, why is there an uh -huh, and a and the second one is just an exponential function in the the claim this could be unclear please revise let's say yeah let's ask ChatGPT to make a revised version and that's also you know typical behavior of ChatGPT. as i said they are statistical parrots they always tell you what you want in 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 essence so it says you're absolutely right using both this and that introduces ambiguity and so on so the model would probably never say no this is fine so the next version is a neural network architecture comprising 